Hey guys, I'm Christian from Oz Caravan World and today I'm going to be showing you through a Toyota Hi-Ace pop top fit out that we've recently completed. This customer is from Harvey Bay um, and basically what she wanted us to do uh, was to create a home away from home for her. She wants to travel around Australia. Um, so we've added it with some pretty cool features uh, for her. Um, so let's go take a look. So as I mentioned, um, our brief from the customer was she wanted to bring as much from home uh, into this van as possible. Um, so basically to start off, we had to create a pop top into this um, high ace van. Um, so as you can see, we created um, additional headspace for her. Um, the high aces are, are generally um, fairly low. Um, so we created the pop top. Um, on the outside here, we've also got um, another outlet here. Uh, so she can plug in some 240. We've also got an awning light as well as this Fiyama uh, F80. Um, on top of the pop top, we've also managed to get two solar panels on top. Um, an antenna jack, which is controlled by a spindle on the inside, as well as also um, a Truma air conditioner on top as well, um, which is a very cool feature. So now let's go on inside and we can take a look. So on the inside, as you can see, um, there's plenty of, of, of room on the inside. Um, so there's lots of cool features. So we've got an induction cooktop here. Um, we've got a sink with a, a drainer. On the back here, we've got a Calcutta bench top, uh, which basically has a little splash back all around the outside. We've got double GPO switches um, all over the place, uh, more GPOs. We've also got Sirocco fans, um, a TV on the right hand side there. Um, we've got this table here, which again, it basically it moves backwards and forwards, can also shift to allow you to actually get into the seats and move around. Um, this one here also converts and has a little pedal here, which drops down and also creates your bed. So that's a pretty cool feature here. Um, your back cushions here also drops in as the inserts to create the bed, which we can show you a little later on. Um, as well, we also have lots of 12 volt lighting here, uh, which you can see, as well as USB chargers. Um, what else we have is basically lots of storage area so basically we have some storage here, as well as underneath these lounges. Um, so basically she has plenty of room here uh, for all her clothes or anything she else she might want to take away uh, with her. Um, on top, as you can see, we've managed to get extra lights into the ceiling space, as well as the aircon unit, which was a must for her in this, in this little van fit out. So, um, and now what we'll do, is we'll take you around the outside and we will have a look at what we've got out there. So follow me. So on the outside, um, basically she still wanted to do outdoor cooking just as much as inside. So we've got a little barbecue here, which basically just pulls out. She's got a little Dometic barbecue as well as a little stove and a little oven on top of there, which is a very, very cool feature for this van. She's also got a little Duetto hot water system that's tucked in there, which is a bit hard for you guys to see, um, but she's got access down the side there. So that's very nice and easy to use, just tucks in there underneath the lounge. She's obviously got her safety switches there and the Duetto hot water system access there. She's also got drawers here with little lift ups nice and easy to use so as you can see she's got plenty of storage space from access to the rear of the van and on this side here she's got her dc dc charger a battery charger and lots of um storage space for camp chairs or anything else that she might need so as you can see it is a relatively small van but we have managed to get plenty and plenty of storage area and lots of lots of um, cool features in here. So now if you follow me around to this side of the van, we've obviously got our mains inlets over here, as well as an external shower, um, as well as a, basically this is an awning, um, which comes out and creates a shower enclosure for her external shower. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this van was uh, designed and built by us down here at Oz Caravan World. Uh, if you are interested in 
uh, designing or creating uh, something similar to this van, please feel free to come on and discuss your options uh, with us down here. Um, we can go through layouts, plans, quoting, uh, anything that you guys may need. So please feel free to come and see us um, anytime. Uh, thanks for watching our video and we hope to see you soon. Thanks.